What is up guys, don't forget to subscribe, check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. This is everything cameras, everything cameras. Follow me on Dreams, I'm Young Tech's YouTube on Dreams. I put out a lot of games and I put out a lot of art. I will show you one of my new games that I'm working on at the end of this video, so I hope you enjoy. So here's the main things that you can use with cameras. A timeline, a timeline can be found right here. Uh, the camera pointer. A control sensor. Control sensors work with the camera pointer, not the regular camera. But of course, the regular camera can be used, you know, you'll, you'll have to use that if you're trying to use cameras. And the wiper, that's pretty much what does this. You can customize it, make sure it's powered on, all that great stuff. That's pretty much how you do this kind of stuff. In combination with timelines, you can actually add effects with your camera with the gradient effects, which can be found right here, gradient effects, wiper, camera pointer, camera, and control sensor. So this camera pointer is actually using the camera within the control sensor. You can mess and edit with the, uh, the camera pointer's view like by moving it, but you can also mess with the dis distance and other things right here. This is important because this is how you would make 2D games isometric games, um, over-the-top games, all sorts of things. And you can also make cutscenes and stuff too. You'll also be using the keyframe and the action recorder, most likely for your cameras also. And you'll be using precise mode to make precise movements and grid stat mode, as well as these other ones also so that way, whenever you're moving it with the action recorder for your cutscene, you're moving the camera with the action recorder, you can make precise movements and grid snap it and do all sorts of other things to make things a whole lot easier. I recommend looking through here. This is how you see invisible objects. You can look through this pink thing also. Very important stuff, very important stuff. So the keyframe is how you get a lot of what you're trying to do if you're not trying to use more than one camera. If you're trying to use more than one camera, then you can. These two dots here are envelopes. It's sort of like a fade-in effect, a fade-in effect, I believe. So you can turn that on also. And you can turn this on linear. If there was a keyframe in the beginning, it would sort of do that fade-in effect if we have both of those keyframes on linear, on linear. If we have keep changes on, it'll make sure the camera stays in the new position that this keyframe edits. So let's go ahead and see if this actually works. And it does. So if we turn the envelope off, it's instant. And you can mess around with that kind of stuff also. Um, There's one more thing that I want to talk about before we get into my game. I think it's cutscenes. So if you had a player that uses a control sensor, what you want to do is when the timeline starts, get a on off switch put this in there extend it to however long you need to put this <clears throat> inside of here and that disables controls you can also disable controls with the keyframe by pressing this while the keyframe is recording just make sure it's not on keep changes and that's essentially it whenever it comes to cameras. You can also open this up, turn on display black bars, mess with the settings right here for transitions, field of view, and hide imps and disable controller sensor input. So this can also be used for cutscenes. If you just turn that on, it should do that then. You can check out my cutscene tutorial. I probably have a bunch of videos that just pop up here at the top and you can click those tutorials also. I made those so that way you guys can learn even more just by the click of a video and look for what you guys want to or you can check out my channel playlist that'll help you guys out also. The wiper is right here. You can put everything in a timeline, grading effects, camera, keyframe, action recorder, um, control sensor, camera, camera pointer, wiper, and timeline. These are the main things that you'll be using. You can extend your timeline. You can add
this to this to where you can do things like this whenever it increases count <clears throat> and essentially this is how you can get some pretty cool camera stuff another thing you can do if you're action recording you can also do this if you didn't want to use logic to make a circle what I'm doing is sort of like I have the left stick going to the right and the right stick going to the left that's how I'm doing this and then I'm holding R2 I think yeah and while the action recorder is recording you can do that and then you can mess with the speed of things within the action recorder it has a speed option too. put it on once usually put it on once for cutscenes so that way it doesn't play over and over again however if you're in a trigger zone if you have if you're a timeline is being activated by trigger zone you might want to keep it on sustain you can also mess with the volume settings right here and then the speed of course and then I think action recorders also have speed and stuff too you can put logic inside of timelines also I think it's instantly put on keep for action recorders and this and you can mess with this uh, animation speed amplification so the length something would go it's not the same as like the length of this it's like the length of uh, how far it walks and stuff you can mess around with it as well as the other settings and on end trigger you can make it to where uh, variables go up and down this also has an on end trigger as well as a play at position you can use a calculator in combination with the play at position to make other kinds of things activate at the right time And that's essentially, for the most part, what you would probably want to know about cameras. You can use timers to make cameras go off. You can deactivate cameras with keyframes with the recording. Just have it on key for, uh, changes whenever you deactivate it. Press L1 and X to start the recording. All that great stuff. All that great stuff. And that's about it for cameras, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And... Just making sure I haven't forgotten anything. You can use this kind of stuff for cameras, this logic stuff, follower. So mess around with this stuff. I have other videos about that, but I'm not going to go into too depth, much depth for it. You can use all this stuff for cameras. Probably use You can probably use everything here for cameras. If it's something that'll make something move, then you can probably use it on the camera. You can even use, I think you can use this stuff for cameras too. Not sure though. I think you can. Nah, you can't. Well, I mean, you could if uh, the camera was following an object. And then you could activate this by connecting it to the other object. And the camera would be following that object, so it would be following the ball joint. So yeah, you can. It's just tricky. And I think this is everything you need to know about cameras. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump into my other game that I've created. Don't forget to follow me on Dreams. I'm Young Tech's YouTube on Dreams. And subscribe to me here if you enjoy my tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump into this game that I have created. It's actually really, really fun. Yeah, it's going in. I've made first person shooters, I've made story mode games, and now I'm working on this. I wanted to make a game that's sort of, uh, I, I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna talk about this in another video.
It starts getting intense, man. Dude. It's a uh, it's dope, so I, I'm I'm looking forward to that one. Then I also have artwork that I do. That's my artwork. I also teach people how to do things on here. Then I'm working on my game. It's an FPS, and that game that we just played is gonna be a part of this game. This right here is like a story mode game. That game's also gonna be released as its own project, though. So this right here is another project that I'm working on. Also, I've made a Sonic game. Like, I made a whole bunch of freaking stuff. I just realized how much stuff I created, actually. I remember not having one thing under my belt. So you guys have this to look forward to too if you follow me and you know subscribe so your boy does know what he's doing i even got artwork so let you guys know sonic game and i have a, a platformer and a, a classic rpg it's a multi rpg i think it's the first of its kind so i also have that and then we have just a whole bunch of artwork and stuff so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh yeah, and I make music too. Peace out, peace out, peace out.